Hey guys, welcome back for our second episode of our Anno Let's Play 1800. We are here at our harbor with a beautiful view of the sea. What is actually missing is that we have a ship so we can actually explore the sea and see what's there for us. So this will be one of our goals for the second episode. We will try to build a shipyard. And the other goal is that we will upgrade our farmers to workers and see what needs they have and which of them we can already fulfill. But first things first, I have to apologize because the old save game got deleted so I had to play a new game to the exact same spot where we left off in the first episode. But we have the same amount of houses now. We have the fire station. We have our beautiful pub where our guys can get wasted after work. Also, we have our schnapps production where our guys are working on the field. We have the wool production here. And we have our sawmill and lumberjacks hut production as well as our fishery. So, everything is the same. The only, only thing that changed is actually that we have a great fertility here now and yeah these things should have changed as well in their amount but it's okay it doesn't matter too much so <clears throat> the first thing we will do today is change the name of our village a user has su had suggested under the first video that our name Giacomo Volpe is actually a football player and he plays for the Italian club US Cremonese which is located in Cremona so we will change our village to Cremona perfect we are now in Cremona so what we will do now is upgrade our farmers to workers to yeah to workers this is already doable all right we have workers let's take a look at the workers needs they need sausages bread soap and a school and for happiness they need a church and beer of course beer who doesn't need beer to be happy that's pretty obvious so what we should do next is set up a bricks production because all of the new buildings that we will build need bricks <clears throat> so let's see where our clay deposits are. One is there and one there, so I think we will use this one. Set up a path and clay pit. And we need one, two, three brick factories. Alright, we are in blueprint so that we can make mistakes that we can delete without paying any fees. The reason why we have three brick factories for one clay pit is that we can
Workers Department. But we can now take a look at our newspaper. <clears throat> Happiness and light. Cremona is quite full of mirth. 8 and 350 from 10 is how I score my present feeling. One resident remarked during recent census. Yet I am not completely delirious. Okay. So we get minus 50% riot chance here. That's good. I will not change this. Bankruptcy. Giacomo Volk is in the red and it can only be a matter of time before the bailiffs come to reclaim furniture and wallpaper. This will mean the end of this disastrous venture is not turned around soon. We get minus five, minus 5 happiness of this, so I guess we will edit this and do some propaganda hypnosis, so we get actually plus 5 happiness here. And then we have new company takes root. Giacomo Volpe sells first island hopes abound that this seed will germinate into a great levy tree, bows heavy with golden fruit. In historic edition we profile company pioneer and enjoy the positivity. Who knows if we shall see it's like again, plus 5 happiness, perfect, so... We will publish this, we need 30 influence, so no problem for us, publish, alright. So we can see we have 38 happiness for the farmers and plus 14 for the workers. What we will do next is upgrade more of our farmers. So now we have enough workforce for the workers, but we need more farmers again. So we will just spam more houses. This is what you do most of the time in the early game, just spam houses because you always need them. Also for your balance, we are already in the plus, so you will just spam more houses, it's easy, easy money. So let's speed things up a little bit. What can we do in the meantime? Maybe set up an ornament, a fountain square behind the pub upgrade and also some apple trees I like to pick apple trees because I think they are the most beautiful trees in the game because of all these colors that you can see all the colors it's really nice so meanwhile we have the wood let's upgrade more houses perfect What we also should do is add to our schnapps production. Um, yeah. Two more, I think, should be good. One, two. The reason for that is that we don't have to worry in the future about having enough schnapps when we have a higher population. Alright, just like this, so we need more farmer. So going back to our pig farms and slaughterhouses, we can build them too. Perfect, so getting back to building more houses. Get more houses here and on the other side as well. The reason why I always put six is to avoid fires like these. Very good timing. But we already have a fire station so this shouldn't be too bad. I always like to add actually a second fire station so they can reach both sides of the city in faster time, in less time. Yeah, what can we do next? We should upgrade more houses for more workforce. Next. <coughs> We can take another look at our workers, at their needs. They need bread and we are already able to build up a bread production chain. This is possible on this island because we have the grain fertility. 
So let's see where we can build up our bread chain. Quite possibly we could do this here. Um, yeah, build the small walls first and then take a look at the bread production. The grain farm takes one minute, the flour mill 30 seconds and the bakery one minute. So that means we need two grain farms, one flour mill and two bakeries for the optimal production chain. So one, two, one and one, two. Alright, so 144 fields. Perfect. Now we speed up things a little bit so we can actually build all of these. Alright. <clears throat> so now we have set up our bread production chain. But we need more workers work for so back here to upgrade some more of our guys. What we can also do is actually add a fourth wood production chain for timber. Yeah, we can maybe squeeze one in here like this and have this one here. So we have actually have four, so wood is always good to have, especially in the early game, to build a lot of houses. Another resident quest. Worker offers you a delivery quest. Spare a thought for us. Alright, what do you want? Six tons of bricks. Alright, we have twelve, so this should be fine. Yeah, the worker asked if you're ready to hand in your quest. Got news? Yeah. So, as we can see, the six, and what, what do we got? A circular ripsaw. Let's see what the circular ripsaw does. You can click at your harbor and then on items, and then you see all the items you have are stored actually here. So, the circular ripsaw is equipped in the trade union and affects the carpentry works. Plus 40% productivity and plus 20% of fire. It gives the Expedition bonus crafting 30. I will explain that later when we actually have to do expeditions. So this is not important for us now. So use this one. So let's wait another second for our shipyard. 
24 let's go 26 28 all right we have the shipyard competitors settled on an island old world all right we are a little bit behind but it doesn't matter so let's see what we need for a schooner we need 20 wood and 10 sails so what we will do in the next episode is get the sails production ready the steel beams production and the soap production and hopefully also build a school so that we can advance to the next tier and of course then build our first ship and explore the world I hope you enjoyed the second episode of the Anno 1800 let's play if you liked it hit the thumbs up button and always post in the comments criticism suggestions or advice tips I'll always happy to read them and improve my gameplay for you guys um, yeah thanks for watching and bye bye